What's up guys, this is Shana and today we're going to check out Toai Residence at Shah Alam. Let's go! So today we're going to check out a very unique property and this is a location that many developers has came before. For example, Saim Dhabi, SP Satya, then now Eco World number two. This is those rare condominiums that we have mentioned before. It's a guideline for a particular building to be called as a condominium. For example, your land size minimum must be six acres and there's a limitation of number of units per acre. I think it's like 50 units per acre. That's why a lot of developers choose to not build condominiums anymore because it's just not feasible in terms of economics, right? But this one is a condo. And last of all, this adopts universal design. So the whole intention is to make homes safe and livable for all generations including elderly, children and etc. Coming in from NKVE, this is the Satya Alam Toll and right after the toll, the first junction on the left and you'll pass by one roundabout and you will reach the site. This will be Dwai residence and there will be some shop lots that we will explain later. In one glance, it's a very low density, landed property oriented kind of development and from afar, that's the main street of NKVE that connects you to Satya City Mall, then the Forum and etc. This will be the project site in total of 6.6 .6 acres and this will be the sales gallery which later will be converted into a cafe and a function hall later. La. But this still belongs to the management. The idea is when this is turned into a cafe complemented by the rows of shops in front, the rental collected will be contributed into the GMB. That will reduce the burden of maintenance for this site. And after that you have a hall with three badminton courts that can be converted into a basketball court and it will be linked via a bridge to this tower in total 330 units and compared to the designs that we know right now right we will always see the entrance then the elevated car park then the facility deck podium then the tower that's because land is scarce la. when you have too much area it's a whole different design strategy first you have the multi-story car park connected again via the link then another benefit of having a lot of area is you have ground floor car parks that's still shaded with canopies right these are awesome then you have ground floor facility decks so that will be the kids play area this will be the swimming pool area and you still have car park all around but something to emphasize it's this care office. Care office is a place where it will be friendly for elderly to seek for assistance for example blood checker and this is where we talk about universal design. It's going to sound like a lecture <laughs> but just bear with me right. Ramps and lifts are improved. 900 mm clear doorway for common areas. Wheelchair friendly. Braille lift buttons. Tactiles. Minimum floor drops level type lock sets, large gang, wheelchair turning circles and wheelchair accessible car parks. And not only elderly in mind, they also want to promote safety features and if you look at it right, it's rather like logical but then sometimes it's also taken for granted. We are now heading over to the function room as well as the show unit. This is the actual thing. They will be handed over to the residents. Although it takes up a lot more capital to complete this first, right? This reached the expectation gap between what they are going to get and what they thought they are going to get. Right? This will be the function room and it's completed. This will be a location where you are going to host your parties, right? And if you were to notice, right, these two spaces are located outside of the boundary which allows visitors to come in. That's one of the very rare design moves I've ever seen but I think it's very very practical. So in total, there will be 12 units in one floor plate, right, served by four leaves and there will be one, you see, this number two, right? stretcher and service lift. That's pretty rare. It means that this can accommodate a bed whenever that is required. La. And they also highlighted where is the refuse chamber, which I like. <laughs> there's a lot of openings, right? Here there's openings, there's openings, there's openings, openings, openings. So there will be sufficient daylight across the corridor and there are a lot of voids. 
So judging based on the floor layout like this, it means that every bedrooms will have their own windows. That's good. Also, just to highlight, this is the orientation, north, south facing. And today we're going to check out this unit, type A1109 square feet. And when we come into the door, you notice that there's a small little line here. It indicates a ramp. Then when you come into the unit, you have your dining and living. And every unit comes with a balcony. And you'll notice this weird thing again. This means wheelchair turning radius. So it's friendly for a wheelchair to make a turn here, as well as the bedroom, as well as the bathroom. Then when you go into the corridor, you will have three bedrooms. Bedroom 2, Bedroom 3, and the principal bedroom. Coming in from the corridor, right? The first thing you'll notice that ramp and the door width is actually wider. So usually door frames are 900, right? This one is clearance 900. That's nice. From the entrance, you have your kitchen, dining, living, balcony. So as we are walking around the dining area, right, you will notice the slight difference in the design concept of magic, right? Multi-ability, multi-generation, inclusive community. And I guess that should be the future. But the problem is I need to provide more space as a developer, more attention to details and all those comes with a cost. That's why this has not been taking off in the industry, but I really, really appreciate it. As for flooring, you have a 2x2 two two tile and this kind of tile, again, is treated so it's anti-slip for safety purposes. You will have your top and bottom cabinets and these are provided along with the backsplash, but do always chat with the sales staff. And moving on to the Yard space, again, ramp, big clearance, and a nice little window here. It has been a while since we last seen a wet kitchen in an apartment because of the sheer size of the yard. Well, this is only for reference. On the actual unit, it's up to you to do up yourself. Right opposite, you will have your washer and dryer. Coming up from the kitchen, right, ceiling height is around 2.9, and the width is amazing and currently for this freehold project the price is going around 450 per square feet so a unit like this is going to cost around 460 470 but it depends on which floor and which size as well also one thing to point out because of their emphasis on safety as well requirement wise there's no need for a residential property to provide fire sprinklers but in this unit they are providing Although it may be a nuisance in terms of design, but uh, it's for safety. Lah. So this is a 3 feet balcony, steel handrail, right? And behind that will be the location, the latch for your aircon compressors. Moving on, this will be a 4 feet corridor. And this will be the common shared bathroom. Full height, wall tiles. This is Sorrento for Basin and Sorrento for WC. Again, RAM here, right? And from the entrance as well, RAM down. Nice. So this bathroom will be shared between the guest and the user of two bedrooms. This is bedroom number one. Both bedrooms can accommodate a queen size bed. Usually you will see like the third bedroom of certain units, right? <laughs> Very small one. But here again to the uh, concept of multi-generation, again here you can host several families together. Lo. Here you have a queen size bed, bedside tables, again fire sprinkler, aircon will be provided, laminated timber, timber skirtings and the window profiles will be of such. Too bad it's not full height. La. Moving on, this will be the second bedroom and it's pretty similar in every room comes with their own window, that's nice. So here you have your bed, bedside tables, cabinets, laminated floorings. That will be the window profile for your unit. And the best thing about this unit is, check out this bathroom. Isn't it so rare to find a bathroom where you can exactly lie down like that? It's so spacious because again, in accordance to their universal design, this is supposed to cater for the wheelchair and that's also the reason why they are providing water heaters for the unit as well and if you notice the position for the water heaters are a little bit different this is slightly lower and the shower is actually higher full head wall tiles WC and basin by Sorrento so looking through into their brochure right 
they are also having this community manager it will be a person right to plan classes for the residents here so for example like cooking classes la, line dancing la, karaoke la, craft classes la, badminton la, gardening la. hence that will be the role of the community manager here and what's cool as well in the care office there will be a registered nurse with certain skill sets such as the ability to perform CPR and AED. Now let's check out the surrounding amenities. Okay, we have the Eco Ardens Lab and we have the Satya City Mall. Let's go! So just a five minutes drive away, we are at Eco Ardens Lab where you have Jaya Grocer, you have the pharmacies, the F&B outlets, you also have football fields. Also, what's famous about Satya Alam would be the 10B school. After hanging out in Eco Ardens, we are now opposite the highway. This is Satya City Mall and right in front would be Toph glove towers and in this same direction right you have a few things NIH National Institute of Health then you have Peninsula International School then here you have Forum as well which is under construction and all these are surrounded by landed across Satya Alam another observation would be the infrastructures right are very very complete that's what the road condition shoulder street lamps because all of them run from the same DNA ma. <laughs> if you guys know what I mean. But anyway, I guess that's about it. It's now time for Shandik 3 on 3. Three things I like. Number one would be the title of condominium. Condominium is very, very almost impossible to come by again because of the restrictions where in an acre you are only allowed to build 50 units therefore it doesn't make sense at all in terms of economy or profitability and therefore the shift to service apartments where basically less than an acre i also can build in other words this project then becomes a very rare case where in 6.6 .6 acres you only have 330 units the ample amount of space, right, it's just going to be insanely luxurious. Plus, the surrounding is all landed projects. It is a very low density neighborhood. Then the second thing I like would be the design approach of the developer. This project, it's somewhat like a statement that they are trying to make. They have integrated the magic concept. And last of all would be the location of Satya Alam. So this location has been the favourite spot for residential purposes. Lah. Hence you have a very complete facilities from malls, from international schools, from commercial areas. And evidently you can see from the infrastructure, right, the highway is well done, circulation well done, road condition, road shoulder, landscape, everything all very well done. Three things I don't like, number one would be the uncertainty of what's behind the project. I know north-south facing is good but it might be their further phase and I think it's going to be a high rise again so please do check with the developer right exactly what's going to be there but later a new building in front of me then uh yeah number two will be the very intense competitions around so you have Dudo right next to you you have forum coming out you have SCR city city residents coming out and in this location weirdly people only prefer landed and therefore the high-rise apartments around this area right it's not really performing la. so this would be a very ideal own stay product not so much of an investment product la. last of all would be the exact location of the site which is located deeper into the residential areas so it depends if you're looking for convenience and all you have Arden's lab and Satya City Mall but you will need to drive until the commercial areas in front is developed the only way to go out will be by driving but on the bright side then this means a lot of privacy and serenity because this is located away from the main NKVE highway generally this is the own stay product located slightly away from the action but still convenient provided you need to drive that is jam-packed with a lot of design philosophies almost to make a statement to the industry which I really really appreciate and looking into their previous projects at the Riyang right we can really see the treatments to common areas and their treatments to customers and I only can imagine what's gonna happen three years down the road and with that thank you very much for having me if you really like this episode like it share it and even subscribe for more information like this until next time this is Sean Tan ciao